This is part one on how to make this salt shaker in Fusion 360 using forms. In this video, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to make a salt shaker using forms. So we're gonna get started. The first thing we wanna do is click on forms. And this will bring us into the forms workspace. Next thing we wanna do is click box, select the bottom plane. And then we're gonna create a box from the center. Now we want our box to be 45 millimeters with eight faces and then a minus 45. Up to 455 with eight faces and it needs to be 65 millimeters tall. Just like that. And each one of these will be eight faces. So make sure it looks like this and click OK. So now that we have our box, the second thing we want to do is we want to turn on our select through. So go ahead and turn that on from the select menu, select your all your objects, go to modify, then click crease. And click OK. So this is going to crease all of our, our uh, edges so that our box is nice and flat, top, bottom, and everywhere. And it should look like this. OK. Now that we have our box, we need to add some more lights. And so we're going to start by going up to select, and we need to turn off our select through. Don't forget to do this because it could mess you up if you do not do this. Go to modify, insert point. Now we want to start drawing a point all the way across. Up, down, and across in this direction. And then when you come to the end, go down, and then you're going to click OK. Don't want to continue this way because it doesn't really work. So repeat, insert point, right click, and then we're going to continue doing this all the way down. Necrolis. So it does take a, a little bit of time to put all of these uh, triangles in. But in order to make it look like it's faceted, uh, we're going to need our triangles. So I'm going to continue doing this until I have all four sides that look exactly like this. Seven. We'll be back and I'll show you what we're going to do next. So at, at this point, your model should look like this. And you should have all four sides with all the little triangles on them. And at this point, you want to make sure you save your model. And then go to select. Then we're going to turn the select through on again. We want to select our box again. We want to go to mod modify. Then we're going to go to crease again. Because uh, we want all of our faces flat. So everything needs to be flat. So Everything has a crease in it. And that's the easiest way to do all of them at the same time is to turn on the select and select everything first and then hit crease. If you go to modify and then select crease, and then try to do it, it, it takes a lot longer because it only lets you select one at a time and it's, it's a little bit harder to do that. So just do it, select the model first and then hit uh, go to modify and select crease. Okay, we want to go back to our selection menu 
and turn off select through and you want to make sure this is done because it, for the next step so let's uh, turn our box to one of the sides and then we're going to start selecting every one of these uh, edges horizontally and every other one vertically So you just want the edges, right click, edit form, turn your box so you can see which direction you're going. This is going to be negative, so we want negative two millimeters. And I did hit enter, so I got out of my form, which is okay, we can start it again, but this is kind of the look we're looking for. And as you can see, when we move our model around, we kind of have this uh, faceted look to it. So let's go to the front and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to select every other horizontal edge, then every other vertical edge. That farm. the model. Make sure we have this one highlighted. Then it's going to be a minus two also. Instead of hitting enter, this time I'm just going to click off onto the canvas. I'm going to continue selecting my edges. Now I don't know if this is the correct way to do this. I am kind of new to uh, using forms, but this is the way I figured out that it worked for me. If uh, anybody knows a better way, just let me know. All right, we're going to turn our box again, and this one's going to be positive, so we need two millimeters. This is the last side. So every other line again. Just didn't get that one. So I'm really trying to do this uh, tutorial on my laptop. So now I have my big computer with me. And then we're just going to turn it sideways, pull it out, two millimeters. Then you click OK. And this is what your box should look like at this point. And if you move it around, like I said, you can see the the different faucet or facets to your box. And this concludes uh, part one. And the next part will show you how to make this form into a um, into a soul shaker. So go ahead and finish for It's thank you. And as long as you don't have any errors, you should be good. Go ahead and save your your um save your box.